the church is becoming more worldly and the world is becoming more religious than the church. You will understand this statement by the end of this video. <laughs> Wonderful people, welcome back again. This is Sunday where we bring you the gospel of truth that will bring about your spiritual freedom. Don't forget the four pillars and driving ideology of this platform is to give you a message of freedom. Freedom politically, freedom economically, freedom socially, and freedom spiritually. And on Sundays, we bring you this spiritual freedom message. The Bible always say that my people perish for lack of knowledge. Another quotation also said, pride goes before a fall. And another one said, by their fruits you shall know them. Those of you who have conversant with your bible or those of you who are going to church you must have had this um, time and over in your church and um, this is not the first time i will bring you this kind of video by the time you finish watching it please tell me what fruit did you see this video bears i'll be right back <laughs> Now, by now you must have had an answer to my question. The video you saw that young man spraying money on the pastor. At first, I thought, no, this is not a church. And um, this could be one of maybe the young man there that are spraying money, is celebrating his birthday or something of that nature. Until it got to the point where the young man after spraying money knelt down or while he was spraying money knelt down and he was being prayed for by the same man the money is being prayed upon now you and i know that no person no man that worked hard to earn his money in a legitimate way will splash this money this way just name anyone. Just name any person that had worked hard. I've seen the likes of um, uh, Chikasin, a multi billionaire. But he made it very clear that he, he doesn't spend his cover. Before he spend a naira from his money, it must. It must worth it it must worth it now you see young people after doing the scam after doing the um, yahoo yahoo whatever they call it the all of those things they do that you and i know native because they have you know they have given it a new name say nahozo no be also not if you be if you they do yahoo yahoo they scam people of their hard earned money and sometimes you go into business you divert somebody's fund and you bring it about this way and sometimes perhaps some of these young people are being used by politicians to launder money and these are proceeds from the money they get from from running those errands for the politicians stealing public funds. All of that put together in any way you might fix it. No man can ever splash his money this way if he had made it in a genuine way. If he had worked hard to make that money. 
Now, let us bring it down to the church. The church is becoming more worldly and the world is becoming more religious. The world out there are making laws to prohibit people from exhibiting this kind of madness as a disrespect for their currency and their national identity. Why the world, world, the people will consider pagans, people will consider they don't even believe in God. They don't do these things. People like Big Gates, people will condemn for Illuminati and the rest of them. They don't even do this. You see them spend money in what they call humanitarian services. But these ones, they exhibit pride. They exhibit pride arrogantly in the church. You see why I made that statement? Now, let me not also put further that these guys are going further to destroy their soul and as well their body. Because what they, this thing, the only thing that it can attract to them is envy. People might come up after him to kidnap him, to kill him. What else do you gain from it? But the church will not teach you this. Some of these pastors will not teach you this. Some of these religious leaders or those who are posing themselves as prophets because we know there are many false prophets. They even do prayers for people who are into illicit business, drug peddling, scam. They do prayers for them. They organize special prayers for them. I don't need to talk too much so that I don't waste most of your time. And this thing is prevalent in Africa. We are suffering. We are poverty is ravaging. They just make some of these things just to show off. They just gather this wealth just for show off without touching lives. Man, that is all I can bring to you. I believe if you share this video and let it go round, it will go a long way to addressing some of the societal ill that is making us as a people be backward. I'm also Sinead Peters, the voice of the people, the voice of God, the voice of our ancestors. I have delivered the message. Share it. I'm signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Follow us on all our social media platforms and stay connected to this voice. Enjoy your Sunday and stay safe.